Hey, it's Steve. Today I want to talk about performing a proper shock inspection on your truck. Shock inspections uh, include two different shock inspections. Number one is a visual inspection. Number two is a performance inspection. Start your inspection by performing a visual inspection. What you're looking for is loose mounting hardware, the condition of the bushings, the condition of the dust shield and the condition of the shock body to make sure there's no damage from road debris. The second part of your visual inspection is look for a presence of oil on the outside of the shocks. Now keep in mind, some oil on the outside of the shocks is normal and it's considered misting. This is designed in the shock to keep the piston rod lubricated. When it becomes a failure, it's when you actually see drips of oil on the outside of the shock. This would definitely be considered to be a failure. The second part of the inspection is a performance test. What you want to do is operate the truck on a medium rough road for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then what you want to do is place your hand on the frame rail to give you a ambient temperature reference. And then move your hand carefully to the shock body and feel the temperature shock. The temperature of the shock should be significantly warmer than the frame rail. If it's not, that's considered a failure of the shock internally. If you do have a failed shock absorber, you can find the right shock absorber for your vehicle listed in our technical publications at www.hendrickson-intl.com. Thanks for watching, and remember, Hendrickson is here to help you go the extra mile. For more information, please visit our website at www.hendrickson-intl.com.